Hey, what's going on guys? It's Raj here, and I am back with another video. This is, uh, the Minecraft Halo Craft Mod Showcase that I'm doing. So, anyway, let's get right to it. And, basically, I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of, uh, cool weapons and stuff like that. Here, I'll first, uh, start off with this. So, as you can see right here, this is a Spartan weapon rack. You can store weapons on here. And any sorts of weapons too, not just uh, Spartan weapons. You can store any weapons on here. This is like a Halo-based mod. I don't know if you, uh, some of you guys know what Halo is or not, but it's a video game on uh, 360 and Xbox One, and for I'm pretty sure uh, PS3 and like PS games as well. It's a PS game as well. Uh, and then these are also double-sided as well. So like uh, you don't only have one side of weapon storage. You have both sides. And then this is the Covenant one. And it has weapons there. Except the thing that sucks about this mod is that, uh, like, these alien weapons here, they can't be reloaded. They're only, like, a one-time use. So after you have used them once, they're done. So that's pretty, that pretty much sucks. And then these here are the vehicles. I'm gonna show you all of them. Alright, so... Let's just see here. So, this is the Black Mongoose. So, it's just a uh, mongoose from the game. And then, these are also the same as well. They're just differently colored, as you can see. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. And then, this is a blue one. This is a red one. And then, these are all the mongooses here. And then, these are the warthogs. This is one without the gun. Or, like, without any guns at all. So, it's just really just a car. And then, this has a chain gun, so let me show you what a chain, the chain gun does. And basically, you just click, uh, left click, and it fires. Just, it's like a chain gun, basically, so like a machine gun. And it fires. So it's kind of self-explanatory. And then, the, uh, gauze, I think is a missile launcher, so let me just test that. Yep, the gauze is a missile launcher. So, that just launches missiles. And then, it creates a decent sized explosion. Like, probably, it's a little bit less than a TNT explosion, but it's a decent size. And then, the Warthog rocket. And then, that's obviously a uh, rocket launcher. That obviously has a rocket launcher as its gun. So, it's basically the same thing. Except, it has a much bigger explosion radius. It's about the size of a TNT explosion. So then, those are all the Spartan vehicles. Now let me just show you guys the alien vehicles. Or the Covenant vehicles. Alien or Covenant, whatever you guys want to call them. And I'm also going to leave this mod in the description below, if any of you play Minecraft or anything like that, so you guys can go check it out. Like all the crafting recipes and stuff like that. And then, this is the Banshee right here. It's kind of like an, yeah, it's a vehicle that you fly, basically. I oh, don't know what that was. Alright. So then now, this is also like a different type of Banshee. It's basically the same thing, though. And yeah, you can basically fly those. And then, this right here is uh, the ghost, basically. So it's kind of like a, uh, kind of like a word hog basically. Except way more miniaturized, and it's actually, it's more alien. Alright, so basically, I want to also show you guys something with these vehicles, so I'm not going to destroy them right away, because I want to show you guys something with them that you can actually do. That's kind of neat. So let me just put these back. And then these here are the alien weapons, so let me just show them. Let me just show them off. Alright, first weapon is the energy sword, and it looks kind of cool. You can swing it around at mobs and stuff like that, and it's obviously a limited use. Oh, and also, if you, like, scroll off of it, it, uh, closes automatically, because you can't, uh, like, basically, you can't, uh, close it while you have it in your inventory, see? I tried to shift-click, it doesn't close, but another cool feature about it is, like, if you, uh, right-click, it pushes you forward, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, you have to scroll off it, of it to close it, basically. And then, this is the carbine here. 
This is the uh, carbine. I'm trying to figure out how to zoom in. Oh, I think my controls are conflicted. Yeah, that's another thing too. If you have lots of mods like me, you're most likely your controls are going to be conflicted. So I have to fix this real quickly. Uh, let's see. Here it is. So I'm going to just set that as numpad 1. The zoom key I'll just set as numpad 2. Because I just need the reload key and the uh, zoom key. That's all I need right now. And then, basically, uh, to zoom in, uh, I just did it as numpad 2, and right now I'm pressing numpad 2. And then, you just fire with right click. And you can just fire like that, too. And what's also cool is, there's, like, indicators, too. Like, so see, I'm aiming at the cow. There's a blue indicator, basically. So that's, like, uh, showing you, like, uh, passive and aggressive mobs. So, basically, you can uh, tell which mob is passive and which one's aggressive. So if you were, say, to aim this thing at, like, a skeleton or something, it would show, like, a red sort of thing. And I'll show that to you guys with the grunts and stuff in just a second and all the aliens. Because there is aliens in this mod as well, like, that you can spawn in. And then same thing with this. I'm just going to show you how they all fire. So, fairly similar to the game. What's also cool is that these weapons are 3D as well. Yeah, see? You can just do that. And here's the spiker. Dang, these weapons really kill the mobs off pretty fast. They're pretty OP. And then the brute shot is kind of like a grenade launcher. It's an alien version of a grenade launcher. So, let me just go put these back for now. Because I don't really need them right now. Because I'm going to show you guys the uh, Spartan weapons now. So, let me just put those back. Or actually, no, not the Spartan weapons yet, the grenades. I'm going to show you guys, there's three different types of grenades in this mod. So, there's the firebomb grenade, which does this. It just sets off, like, a huge uh, area of fire, basically. And then there's the plasma grenade, which is an alien grenade. And then it can stick to stuff and blow them up. So, it's like a regular TNT explosion. And then, obviously, the classic frag grenade. That doesn't do anything special, that just blows up. <laughs> That doesn't really stick to anything. It just blows up right on the spot. Alright, those were the grenades. Oh, and also, these grenades, they only stack in 8, so they can't stack in 64. That's why there's only 8 of them. And then, uh, these weapons, however, the Spartan weapons here, these can actually be reloaded. So, let me just get all of these. And then, I'm gonna get all their ammo as well. So that I can show you guys that you can actually reload these. Because they are reloadable, actually. You can reload them over and over. Oh, here, guys. Hang on just a second. Uh, I'm also doing an Instagram Live at the same time and recording a YouTube video, so I kind of have to tell them what's going on. Uh, for the Instagram people, I'm doing a YouTube video, and I just decided to do a live at the same time. So it uh, kind of is doing like that. <laughs> I'm just doing that. And I'm doing a mod showcase as well. The Halo Craft mod showcase for Minecraft. Alright, it's so then that. It's there. <laughs> okay, they said okay. Except, actually, uh, for the Spartan weapons as well, there's two weapons that are actually not reloadable. So, it's like the heavy weapons, basically. I don't like it at nighttime. Slash time set zero. There we go. And then, same thing for this. The zoom key as well. You just hit two, and then you can zoom. And then, that's the DMR. <laughs> With the assault rifle, you can't zoom. There's some uh, weapons you can't zoom. And then see, also, this is the same thing for vehicles as well. Like, you can, uh, like, basically, if you point it at a vehicle, and it's like a hostile vehicle, then it will show the indicator is red. But if it's a friendly vehicle, it'll show the indicator is blue. So that's kind of a neat feature that they built into this mod. And the assault rifle just fires like this. So it's really similar to the game. And then, here's the Magnum. It's a pistol. It's like that. And then, here's the Battle Rifle. This can actually be zoomed in. So, if you hit Numpad 2 or whatever you change it to, if you have conflicts. What's also cool about the Battle Rifle is, it uh, fires multiple shots at once. I think it fires like three shots at once. So, that's kind of cool. And then, I already did the DMR. So, this is the shotgun. You can't zoom in with this. But, uh, same thing like with all of these weapons here. 
like if you uh they all have the indicators so it's all the same and then the shotgun's self-explanatory it just fires that and now here's the sniper this is probably one of the best ones out there and the, at least in my opinion Except the thing is though, it's I think somewhat inaccurate, that's the only downfall of it. It's just somewhat inaccurate. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Now the SMG is basically, it's just a rapid fire minigun sort of. Then this is the rocket launcher, so this is kind of self-explanatory as well. You just fire that, causes an explosion. But I want to show you guys the explosion radius. So it's around the uh, same radius as a uh, piece of TNT. And then this is the mauler. It just fires off multiple shots, kind of like a shotgun. Except uh, this uh, is not. It, this is like one of the weapons that you can't reload. So there's no uh, reloading this weapon. And then this is probably one of the most exciting ones: the flamethrower. It literally just spews out fire. And see, it actually, uh, like, hits the surface, too, and actually becomes just fire if it hits the surface. But it does a decent amount of damage to mobs, as you can see here. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, horses, but I'm gonna have to test this out on you. And cows, I guess, since they're here. Yeah, but it basically cooks them alive. <laughs> Alright, that's enough with the flamethrower for one day, at least. Alright, I might want to put all these weapons back before I do something bad. <laughs> Alright. So, oh wait, oops, I'm getting onto that. Alright, and then, yeah, those are all the ammos and stuff like that. But actually, uh, I forgot to showcase one weapon, which is the machete. And it's just kind of like a sword, basically. It's just like a standard sword that uh, is just a little bit... Uh, or it's actually, no, it's uh, just a little bit worse than a diamond sword. It does 6.5 attack damage, and it just does that. It's just basically a regular sword. It's nothing special. Alright, so I'm gonna go put this back. Spartan weapons. And here, I'm gonna show this with one of the weapons, actually, that you can reload it. So I'll just go into game mode 0. And actually, I'm gonna need a Spartan helmet, too. Just a random one to show you guys, because you can actually see all the ammo stuff as well with the Spartan helmet. I'll get onto the armors though in just a second. So as you can see there, you have a bar sort of, sort of like the game. That's your shields, but you have to have the full set of armor to have shields basically. And then as you can see right there, oh I think I grabbed the wrong ammo, oops my bad. Uh, yeah, there's it takes small rounds. So basically if you have the right uh, kind of rounds It shows up right there as ammo that that means like how many rounds you have in your inventory That's how many you have left and then it already is loaded if it's already like preloaded It loads 32 at a time at least for this uh, specific gun at least for the assault rifle All right, so slash game If I can even type mode zero Alright, now I'm in game mode 0, so I'll show you guys uh, that you can actually uh, reload this. And then, oh, oh, I didn't even know you could zoom. <laughs> oh, hi. To, uh, hi. Uh, sorry, you two people, I'm gonna have to uh, pause for one second again. I'm actually also, to the uh, Instagram people, again, I'm a... Uh, make a YouTube video at the same time, and I just wanted to see if anyone joined. So I'm basically talking through this, and talking to you guys just like that. <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, I'm just uh, doing a mod showcase for Minecraft. I'm gonna see who's still on. Okay. Uh, Alright, so to reload it, you have to press 1, obviously, and then it just reloads like that. And then you can fire again until you run out of ammo. And I'm just gonna spray it. <laughs> Cause that's kind of like a semi-machine gun. And then obviously the rounds will disappear from your inventory as you just saw. So now I have no more ammo left. So I'm pressing one right now. So basically once you're out of ammo, then you have to get some more ammo. So basically, yeah, that's uh, what you can do with it. You can reload it. 
And that works, this like all works with the, all these weapons here as well. Like you can reload all of them. So here, let me, uh, for example, no, I don't want to show you the Magnum because they'll take forever. Uh, I'll show you the uh, Sniper with a few rounds. I'll show it with like 10 rounds because it takes like f uh, four rounds per uh, per mag. So I'll just show you with, with the Sniper. And you have to hold down to, or actually, no, never mind. You don't have to hold down to when you aim. Sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, actually, there's two, uh, there's sometimes you can zoom in, like, uh, like, double the amount with some weapons like this. Like, with the sniper, for example, you can, uh, if you press 2 again, you can zoom in even farther. And then there we go, I just executed a sheep, I feel so bad now. <laughs> and then you can literally just snipe all you want with this weapon, with the sniper. And then I'm out of ammo, so you don't have to zoom out to reload. You can just reload like that. That's a pretty neat feature. So you don't have to zoom out. Is there any other mobs in my vicinity? Oh, hey, there's a lucky block over there. I did a mod showcase on that, if you guys want to go check that out. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to try to find more mobs so I can shoot them. Or actually, no, you know what? I'll just shoot uh, some of these vehicles because I wanted to show you guys this. So, basically, uh, I don't know if you guys saw earlier, but I did this by accident. You see how this Banshee is damaged now? If you shoot it, yeah, I basically just uh, shot it. Like, it takes multiple hits, though, to like, completely destroy it. So, you could destroy vehicles with weapons like this. And I'm pretty sure with regular swords and bows, too, you can also damage vehicles. So, say, for example, I shoot this a couple times. Here, let me uh, reload again. I don't need to zoom in for this. I think six shots will be enough to probably uh, damage it pretty nicely. That's already three shots. And then see the fourth shot from the sniper, it, uh, it gets destroyed. So I just destroyed both those banshees. Now time to destroy the ghost. Now the ghost gets it. <laughs> oh, but I only have two shots left, so let's see if I can hit it. Yep, it only now has uh, one more uh, hit. If it takes one more hit, it's done for. And same thing with the warthogs and the mongooses too. Like, it's not just uh, only alien vehicles that can be damaged. It's all vehicles. So that's kind of nice if you... Uh, it's kind of a good thing, but a bad thing at the same time. Because uh, if it's a good thing because you can uh, destroy... Like, say you're having a war with someone. Like, it's... Uh, like on a Halo map or something, and you're using this mod with uh, vehicles and stuff, then you can uh, damage the other people's vehicles. But um, it's a bad thing as well, because the other people can damage your vehicles. So it's kind of bad at the same time. And then right here are all the uh, armors. I'm only going to review a few of them, because there's like way more than what I have here. Like I can show you guys literally right now. Let me just go back into game mode 0. Or not game mode 0, game mode 1. Game mode 1. And let me just show you guys this, and I can just get rid of that helmet. But yeah, see, look at how many armors there are. Like, seriously, there's just way too many. I just can't review them all. That would take ages. So I'm just going to review uh, a few of them. So this is the marine armor. It's really nothing special. It's, I'm pretty sure, just armor. <laughs> it's just armor for show. It doesn't have any special indicators or anything on the side. So I'm just going to take this off. Alright, and then my favorite, personally, is the Mark V, uh, like, Spartan armor that's blue. That's my personal favorite. But yeah, see, if you have the armor, see how the, uh, indicator, or like the, uh, the, I guess, shields bar just went up? That's basically, uh, how it, uh, works. But yeah, basically, that's the armor, and this thing as well, it, uh, it shields, it's okay, actually. Like, it can, uh, take some hits, but then again, it's kind of weak at the same time. I wish they would buff it up a little bit more. It's a little weak at the same time. So, let's see, what else do I have to review here? I've reviewed the vehicles, I've reviewed the weapons. Uh, oh, right, the, uh, miscellaneous chest. So, basically, uh, sorry about that Instagram people, the, uh, thing keeps pausing, I don't know why, but, uh, this is basically a, uh, the WIP means work in progress, this is like a deployable gravity lift, I'm pretty sure, because this mod is still, uh, a work in progress, basically, it's not fully finished yet, but if you stand above this, it's kind of like a gravity lift, so it sort of just lifts you in the air, and you can just spam these two, and it will just lift you pretty high up in the air. 
So it's kind of cool. And then I think these dis things uh, disappear after a while as well. Like, say, if you uh, dig into the ground there. They're right there. I'm pretty sure they disappear after a while. So, that was the uh, miscellaneous chest. Now, anyway, onto the mobs. So, these are the different types of mobs that are in this mod. For now, it's only aliens. I kind of wish there was marines as well, but there's right now. I'm pretty sure they're probably working on uh, something where they can implement in uh, marines as well to fight off these aliens. Because for now, it's only aliens that are in this mod, or the Covenant, basically. It's only them right now. So, hopefully they add in marines as well. That'd be a nice touch. Oh, right, I have it on peaceful. That's why it didn't spawn. Silly me. Alright, and I don't want to do this at nighttime either, so slash time set zero. And these things, uh, the best thing about these things is they don't burn in daylight. And see, this is, uh, obviously they don't. And see, this is what I meant by, uh, it just turns to red. See, if you point it at any hostile mob, it turns it to red. Any, uh, weapon, like, that you have from this mod, if you just point it at them, it turns to a red indicator. So you can just shoot them, and I just killed that grunt. <laughs> Rest in peace, grunt. And then this is a grunt wielding a plasma pistol, so they can actually wield weapons too and shoot you. But I'm not going to show that uh, to you guys, because I kind of don't want to die. That'd be kind of embarrassing. Okay, I just killed that grunt. And sometimes they also have drops too. Like they have certain drops that they drop. They can drop their, they can, it ranges from their weapon itself, like the weapon that they are wielding, to like any like meat plates and like that stuff. I'll show you guys if I get a drop, but if I don't get a drop, I'll just uh, show you guys anyway. But yeah, I'm just blowing up lots of aliens. Alright, this is a uh, elite wielding a carbine. He is now dead. Alright, he didn't drop anything. Now, this is the one with an energy sword. So, if uh, basically you're in survival mode, he will activate the energy sword, kind of like uh, I did, and then he'll just charge you, basically. So, just kill him off. Uh, okay, they didn't drop anything, so I'll just have to show you guys the drops. So, basically, like, this is all the extra stuff from the mod as well. Like, there's extra decorative blocks and all that. It's just not a weapons mod. It's a decorative sort of thing as well. But they can drop elite meat, uh, purple meat plates, and they can also drop uh, their weapons as well. Like, uh, obviously used up, because they have durability on them. And slimes are annoying, so I'm just going to kill them off. This rocket launcher is so helpful. Because I can just kill off anything. Alright, there we go. So, that was all of the uh, mobs, basically, to show. And, uh, let me just show you guys that, uh, like, you can store any weapons on this, basically. And it all, both of them are also four-sided, too. So, you can store any weapons. And these extra slots here, you can use as, like, uh, their ammo as well. Like, you can put weapon ammo. So, that's kind of cool. Now, I'm going to go back into game mode 0 for one thing. Because I want to test something. I've not really tested this before. But, uh, can you open this is the question. Uh, I don't think there's a way. Because this is a closed version of this. So, I wonder if it's kind of like a supply drop sort of thing. Like, where you can just open it and it would, like, spew out weapons and ammo and all that. Oh, I have uh, armor on. Actually, that will come in handy for uh, these slimes, because as you guys can see there, see? If they hit me. It also makes that sound effect, too, where it uh, regens your shields like the game. But yeah, if they hit me, basically, these slimes, it uh, takes away from my shield. So it doesn't actually damage my armor, it just takes away from the shield. Oh, my shield's getting low. I might want to run away. There we go. Actually, no, running away, you should never run away. You should get them with these weapons. There we go. And see, as you can see there, uh, it doesn't show an ammo count for the alien weapons because you don't have an ammo count. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take a, uh, I'm gonna take a warthog and I'm just gonna blast them with the rocket launchers. 
Oh, jeez. That was a bad idea. That damaged my armor, for sure. Can I shoot another? I think I'm just out of range of the ghost. Oh, never mind, I got it. These slimes are so annoying. Wow, he just completely dodged my shot. You know what, I'm just going to uh, peaceful it. Because these slimes are annoying. There we go. But yeah, see, you can... Uh, oh, oops, I didn't mean to get in the vehicle. <laughs> but yeah, you can damage these too. No, I don't want to get in the vehicle, I want to damage it. There we go. Now I'm just gonna, for fun, just kill off all these vehicles. Oh, uh, yeah, now, now see, uh, it's out of ammo, so now basically you can't use it anymore. Oh, jeez. I'm just laying waste to all of these vehicles. <laughs> Oh, I'm out of ammo. My rocket launcher. That would have helped to know that I was out of ammo. <laughs> but don't worry, I have plenty more uh, ammo in here. I have plenty more rockets. <laughs> and it only takes two rockets at a time as well. And see, this one can zoom as well. Oh, some of them actually... No, I was right before. Some of them you have to actually hold down uh, numpad to or that control. Now, yeah, I can just spam rockets at these vehicles. <laughs> nice. Just laying waste to them all. Okay, I might want to get rid of this uh, vehicle just by punching it. Because you can punch it too, and that will damage it. This may take a while. Yeah, you know what? Punching it's just lame. I'm just gonna grab a weapon and finish it off. You know what? Why not the beam rifle? There we go. Easy way to finish it off. <laughs> I wonder if you could actually somehow get this open, though. I'm gonna give myself a pickaxe. Slash give... Raj... 1, 2, 2, 1, 3... Diamond underscore pickaxe. There we go. I gave myself a diamond pick. I commanded it in. <laughs> oh, that's what you get. Okay. So apparently, when you break them, you just get covered in armor plates. What if you break this? Wait, is there anything on there? Yeah, what if you break this? Oh, you just get the entire thing back. Okay. So you just get the entire Covenant supply case back if you just break the regular Covenant supply case. Okay. That works. Oh, then you can't see those. Okay. So, basically, I'm guessing there's really nothing else more to view uh, for this mod. So, let me just double check. Alright. Game mode 1. Yeah, let me just check and be sure that there's nothing else that I missed. I went over all the weapons and their ammos. I showed you guys all this. Oh, there's also health packs as well, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what that does. There's the armors, which I went over most of them. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. So anyways, guys, that is going to be the, uh, the Halo Craft mod. So, uh, if you guys want to download this for yourself, uh, the link is in the description below. And if you uh, play Minecraft, you can download this for yourself and you can mess around with it. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be lots of updates out there for this mod, like some pretty epic updates. So, uh, I'm going to be looking actually for any updates. And then, uh, if there is any, I might, uh, showcase it again and like do sort of a uh, second part to th this or like more parts but uh if there is any updates that is so anyways guys that is uh basically it so uh let me know though in the comments below if you want me to uh 
do more mod showcases like this. So anyways guys, that is the uh, mod showcase I guess. And also, before I go, uh, I actually uh, am going to be uploading another mod showcase today. It's going to be the uh, Advanced Lightsabers mod redo basically, because at the time I didn't really know how to record my screen, but now I do. So I'm going to be doing a redo on that. And uh, just show you guys again, like, all the stuff this time. <laughs> I'm not gonna just show you guys, like, half the stuff. I'm gonna show you guys, actually, all of it. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.